that typically has not been a quick strike offense. You, you think about these two teams and how they're constructed, they're going to want to get into the half court. Not a lot of fast break opportunities. Very tough to score, at least that's the way that was in game one. It was a race to 100 as Paul tried to sneak it inside. Instead got it back. Nader launches the three, no good. 12 from the field before really finding his game late, putting it away at 10 straight points on fourth. As Bogdanovich, no good. Didn't have the angle on that running layup. He is so good coming off screens like that, Bogdanovich. That's a nice drive by Adams. Oh my goodness, Steven Adams on the two-time defensive here on the offensive end after the last couple of games. Really going back to the overtime period against Minnesota when he had 11 to put that game away. As Nader went right into the defense. The team just turned the corner, put his head down. And went right to the bucket for the second time and laid it high over the top of Gobert. He must see something. Right. Just continue to run your offense. You got a nice little rhythm going here. Stay in that rhythm. Keep running your sets. Feed off of each other. It's a good ball movement once again. These guys just put the hammer down on both ends, and it's difficult to guard, especially when he just goes straight to the basket. Once again, Nader gets called. Adams has done a good job of just driving the basketball hard around Gobert a couple of times here so far. Nader trying to chase Bogdanovich. That time recovered defensively. Might have knocked it free. The offense is such a premium to come by. Nader cutting to the rim. Nice pass. Nerland's Noel. Great telepathy between. He had 14 free throws combined the first 15 games. And a completely different player. That'll be a foul on Paul again. Up for Steven or, or Nolan's man when they go for the block, but many times in the run of play is tough. Nader cutting to the rim. Great pass, great finish. Not have been able to maintain a lead here throughout this game. Adams now back on the block. Back to the basket on Gobert. Fires it up to Nader. Catch fire three right down the pipe calmly and realizes the mismatch. And he looks at his feet. He's right. Big man's got big feet. It's going to be tough guard the little guard. And Nader splashes. You know, what you can do in the half court is execution. Thunder just ex executed better. Barry Donovan again. Trusting Lou Dort to defend Donovan Mitchell. Gobert got fouled on the rebound attempt. Materially from Mitchell. Dort contests. Another offensive rebound by Gobert. It's free. And uh, Nader sends it up to Gilgis Alexander. He's free and he slams it home in transition. Well, he got a lot of contact in Memphis. Third career NBA appearance. As Bogdanovich, Thunder will give him that all night long. And a 20 point lead with four minutes to go. And you've done it with your defense. Now, you also had your offense going too. You've got you at the century mark right now with four minutes to go. It has been a thorough dismantling here. A uh, key that we talked about because the Jazz get 17% of their offense from the free throw line. Well, one thing that Billy Donovan talked about last night in the game with Portland was the focus. He was on the floor because Billy Donovan had the confidence in him defending one of the best offensive players in the Western Conference. Well, absolutely. Well, that's hard to do. You talk about Mitchell, he had 26 points. He averaged 25, almost 26 a game, but he took 25 shots. He was 10 of 25 from the field, and Dort's had a lot to do with him just seeing a lot of 